what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd Fuck up them niggas, you dead When I walk, I keep on in that head so we got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest. Jiggy Man. Shy E.K. So how's life been since you signed your deal and all that and all that? Great. Great. What changed so far? Everything. <laughs> the way I dress, the way I move, the way I live. The way you live. So you're definitely out the hood now. It's a fact. So what was your first big purchase, your first big cash out? My watch. <laughs> you know, I had to. So, fall. chain on the way? That's a fact. OG. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you were one of the first, I think, Bronx artists to have your own, like, label right now. That's a fact. A couple of niggas outside it, but they, so, ain't, they ain't really get to finish off. You feel me? I'm going to show niggas how you do it. All right. So, you have artists you about to sign and all that? That's a fact. A okay. couple of them. Everybody. Lefty, um, Aviani, I'm sorry, Dex, Beat Our Goon, it's okay. loud. So you about to have a whole movement? Facts. Artists outside of New York or you just... Everybody outside of New York. So niggas been tapping in from outside the city? That's a fact. Like who? Mad people. Like who? They just they like underground. They underground, so they don't... It's like... Okay. Somebody bigger? Nah. Not yet? Okay, so, all right, so you've been having shows in the city, crowds been crazy, sold out shows, back to back to back. I'm six for six, you heard? <laughs> Check all the stats. So, Boston, all up there, so, like, have you had any, like, crazy fan interaction yet, or not yet? Like, at my shows? Yeah, like, fans wilding, fans <laughs> You saw, <laughs> nigga got but punched like, up. But, like, something crazy, <laughs> That was crazy and they I got was about punched to say, up. Like what happened with that though? Nigga was like I'm like free PJ. I do this on every show, say free PJ. One day nigga said, Fuck PJ. I'm like, but it was mad loud, so I said, What you said? He said, You heard what I said, fuck PJ. And nigga just got up on. Yeah, but not you, but you know, the crowd or whatever. And then you have rolling loud on the way. You ready for rolling loud? That's a fact. I want to turn that crowd up. <laughs> You got the first day on Rolling Loud with Nikki. You, you ready? Time. Yeah. Is that going to be like the first biggest crowd or not? Facts. How much people be there? Like Millions. Rolling so Loud be having millions of biggest. people. Facts. So, yeah, Rolling Loud be having millions of people. All right, so earlier in your career, you had took a pause. Well, no, no, before that, you dropped like two to three projects, like back to back. It was like Jiggy Man this, Jiggy Man that, and like two more projects. As and fact. then you took, I guess, a break from projects. So did you feel like you was giving out too much music? Nah, it was just, I had to shuck show up because that bitch nigga that fall, <laughs> I had to <laughs> shuck show up. Let's talk about it. He fucked my shit up. I had to shuck show up, so. Okay, let's talk like, about it. Like, like, once they try to lie about the D&D shit, it took all my music down. So I ain't have no. I, they took my old tapes, all I ain't had no way to get no bread, nothing. That's why I'm here now. Okay. So when when all that stuff was happening, what was going? What was on your mind at that time? But like, did you think it was over? Or did you still I thought it was over, but then I just one day I just said, Nah, I'm oh I'm going back to my block. I'm going to drop shoot mad videos because I already was still recording. Yeah. So I was just. So I just turned up. Yeah, we definitely had mad songs, mad music. I mean, people already know that, you know, we work together and shit like that. But feel me, like, I had a bad partner at the time. And that's how, like, shit kind of, like, played out. So, like. Yeah, for fuck that nigga. Did you feel like I was, do you feel like I could have did more to help? Or do you, what, what do you think? I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I just started this panicking. nigga was everybody K for a couple I months. I started panicking. Well, I fucking want son Kobe. Not that nigga, though. <laughs> He's out. I mean, yes. <laughs> He's out. You did bad. <laughs> nigga tried to stop my career. Young nigga. I'm like, why you trying to write? You can ask Kobe. I was ask her. Tell him, let me out. Like, what's up with you? He, yeah, yeah. We had, I even told him, why you trying to hold me up? I'm young. You old. You got a construction job. Stay with your little job that you got. 
And let me out. Nigga, talk about he need 200000 for my dip. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that was heavy. Yeah, that was crazy. heavy. That was my fault, too. I was still in the learning stages. As far was my man's at the time, but that Then nigga, he was crazy. He started he, getting money hungry. He started wilding. He started posting. Remember he did that Mad. video like Shy K Ma all this hit a million crazy. every week. <laughs> Yo. Trying to make it seem like he was still involved, but son was son wasn't even in the picture. Word. And now then, I'm past that. And, and then all of a sudden you got new ops now. New ops. So new ops did a million views. That's a fact. So on top of all that though, you was already an oppy, an oppy person. All that. So like, um, so I guess now maneuvering, signed and all that, is it different now? Are you gonna not make those same mistakes you made back then? That's a fact. Never gonna make the same mistakes. So what would you say? Like, what would you say you learned from all that stuff for the most part? Don't trust people. I won't sign nothing. I won't put your signature on nothing. And just do shit differently. And make sure you know what you're doing. And even, I see even, your circle's even smaller now, so. Yeah. So what happened with that? Can't be with a lot of people. Niggas not on the same time as me. Niggas is like, feel me? I got to move smarter. You're not on the same time as me. I'm not about to just be chilling with mad niggas. Then niggas got, niggas be bugging. Thinking I got to lay all the weed. Think I gotta buy everybody food. It's over for that. It's dead. It. We ain't doing that. Niggas never ask me for shit. Why you asking me for shit now? When I was broke, niggas ain't never asked me for shit. Don't ask me for shit now. Feel mm-hmm. me? Niggas be crazy. I'm dead. So, um, yeah, so of course shit got smaller. Shit got tighter. So you started seeing people, I guess, act different. That's a fact. And stuff like that. So, um, but you. You was doing numbers though. You, Keem, and E Dot touched the ground, hit an M. Turned up. We turned the city up. Did mad numbers. But what was your reaction when you saw the um the Shake It song and then Cardi said like one of your lines or something? I That's just like I was like, I know I'm lit. I just know I'm lit. Well, I just knew I was lit. My shit, it's not like my shit ain't had, it's not like my shit had 200K views. Uh-huh. My shit had 2 million views. Uh huh. So we know who Come on We know niggas heard that So you ever that's love you heard Spoke to Cardi Got up with Cardi Or not yet No. Nah, Would you did. do a song with Cardi Hell yeah So she got tap in That's a fact Okay Alright And even in the midst of all that You found out you have a kid on the way Yeah shit crazy Are you excited You thought it was gonna be a boy Thought it was gonna be a girl Okay I'm excited you heard It's late So you wanted a girl so what's the um? So now you gotta move extra tech. You a whole father on the way now. That's a fact. So like um, so you plan on staying in New York or like just staying in the tri-state? I'ma say, or you wanna like go to L.A., Atlanta, or something? Yeah, you wanna I, stay I, close I, by. Nah, I'm out. You out? Going to the West Side. You go to Cali? Facts. Yeah. Okay, so the project is called Face of What? Face of the what? <laughs> so what inspired the project? You feel like? My whole top coming up, this whole FR shit, all this shit. I expired the whole tape. So it's a whole story about all that shit. Like, I was making like a lot of these songs as I was trying to get signed. Mm-hmm. So it was heat. Everything, mm-hmm. I was heated. Yeah. This is the last chance. It's now or never. Okay. So that's why this tape is different. All right. And when the deal, so of course, when the deal happened, it would happen. Right after all that shit ended. So, like, so... So, all these songs you was already recording, you just submitted them all to the label? Or they was, like, picking through them? Or, like, what? They I made, like, 30, 30 songs, probably, and they picked through them. Okay. And then they... I seen... We, we know 4 Steph K was a song, and you saw we had, you had did it over to for radio plays and stuff. Yeah. So, now that shit's on the radio. You got a feature on it. Nook. How did um you connect with Nook? That was cool. Yeah, because I think Noodles knew they manager, so. So y'all all connected? Yeah. Did you, so, um, so, you have Nook on the project. Who else on the project? Sleazy. Mm-hmm. Sleazy World Go. And Kodak and Beamy. Okay. And the rest is me. The rest and is And PJ Glizzy. 
Okay. Yeah, Austin PJ. You plan on doing a deluxe or you don't know yet? Hold up. You don't know yet? So what's your favorite song on the project? When they stream that project, what should be the first song that they download? Never Wanna Beat Them. Never Wanna Beat Them? Okay. And you feel like that's the best one on the project? One of them. One of the best songs on the project? All right. So what you have planned for the near future? More projects? More projects. Switch my flows up and okay. go up. And turn my label, stamp this shit. I'm going to stamp this shit. So people be saying like drill is like dying down. Do you feel like drill is dying down? No. No, you feel like the shit's still going up? It's dying down for certain niggas. Not me, I'm here. As long as I'm here, <laughs> drill will be a forever. Okay, so so do you feel like you have big shoes to fill being that drill is dying down for certain people? That's a fact. So do you feel like it's competition or do you just feel pressure? There's no competition. <laughs> But you just gotta structure up and just like niggas be catching cases, so that's what fuck it up. Okay. If I stay in this shit, no case, niggas gonna see they can sign everybody I'm with. But beliefs do be harassing you. That's a fact. You were alive and showed all that. So they be locking me, they be on me, they be locking me up, on me. Fuck it. So does that stop you from going to the hood? Do you try to like chill no. out over there or? I just move more smaller. Move more small. I don't let them see me. Okay. <laughs> okay. So still moving tack, but still supporting the hood. Okay. So do you plan on doing anything like for the hood? Like, Hell of course, yeah. signing niggas. Give there. backs. Put my niggas on, and just show niggas this shit is the way. Rapping is the way. So like, so like, do you feel like Cortland is like split up? Y'all put together. Y'all in the cut. Nah, Everybody we, in their own world. Uh, Nah, hell no. I, we it's shit together. Niggas go bring this shit together. Okay. And we go structure this shit up. You get, you, you 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 get what I'm trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so niggas is gonna fix all that, all yeah. y'all issues and stuff. Facts. It's, That's it's, it's, we all with each other every day. Okay. One fifties, O's, all of us. Okay. So who should? So have you been keeping in tune with PJ? Facts. <laughs> we talk to that nigga every day. Okay, okay, that's cool. He soon be home too. That's just crazy. <laughs> Wait, so PJ about to be home on his music shit? Hell yeah. Okay, and then B dot soon be back home too. Facts. Okay, so do you feel like you have to like inspire your homies to like stay out the streets and shit? Yeah, cause this shit crazy. Cops locking niggas up for shit. Niggas don't they even do. Once they see me going up, it's over. They everybody gonna wanna go. Up. Okay. Do you do you see like a lot of yourself and your friends? Like how you used to be? Hell yeah. <laughs> Literally. This <niggas> is fraud. <laughs> so, so what was that big wake up call for you, you feel like? When I see I, I couldn't fuck with niggas, it niggas could show me how to get buddy so. And I can't get a job. I knew this was my only way. So, what, like what showed you, like what happened like that showed you that like, you couldn't fuck with niggas? That the whole situation, that F all shit, the block work shit, all that shit. Niggas fuck my way to get bread. I was really getting money off my streams. I can't post up and do what I do. I'm hot. I can't do none of that. So niggas fuck my whole shit up. That's when I knew. I got a structure. And I knew I'm 17, 18. I'm about to be in my 20s. Right. So I already knew I got a structure. Right. So um, so do you think so? Do you think you and Blackrock could ever talk that out? Or you think it's over for all that? It's over. <laughs> over. Okay. Okay, I mean, but do you still talk to anybody else from Sugar Hill, or are you just kind of like in your own lane? Hell yeah, I fuck with my son Thirty. Fuck with the niggas that's locked up, the guys. I really fuck with the niggas that fuck with me. Okay. If you don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with you. So yeah, you said you still fuck with Sugar Hill. So how's you and you and B Love gonna work on y'all shit? Yeah, we, we made like two songs. We got two songs. Okay, y'all gonna put them out? Facts. People know y'all have music. We just never seen it. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> I got to tell him, <laughs> drop it. I mean, but you see how it is now. You sign moving around. A lot of people, a lot of your friends probably ask you for features. You probably can't do them right now. That's a fact. I learned not to do songs with niggas. You I learned. had a lot of situations with niggas yeah. I fuck with. So it's not even that. I don't even do features with niggas. Yeah. Only <laughs> niggas that know, like niggas that's not cloud heads. I could do a song with nigga if he, like if you go with the song for three, four months, eight months, nigga, I, I fuck with you. Okay. If you gonna drop it, I, I just told you don't drop it. 
it's over. Cause niggas, if you do a song with me right now, it's not gonna drop right now. So <laughs> okay, so they gotta work for it. Like it's not not that like cause the clout is just like it's not gonna drop because I got my own shit going on. So right. so you feel like people was understanding to that or niggas don't understand that. Niggas still be tight. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> uh, that's how I chill with less niggas. Okay. Yeah, all my niggas, my real niggas is, all my real niggas is books. So, okay. I chill with niggas I grew up with, niggas I started this shit with. Do you feel like more people could have looked out for you back then? Hell yeah. Like how? I was so? one of them niggas. I'm one of them niggas. So, cause I was protecting niggas. I was the nigga protecting niggas. So, once I peep, I'm the only nigga doing shit. I'm not doing nothing no more. Y'all niggas just pussy. Oh, wow. I, niggas could have had me I could have been locked up So I already knew Niggas not doing nothing for me Niggas ain't want to do nothing for me And niggas ain't want to drop music with me So mm-hmm. Nah I ain't really want to do a song <laughs> Okay, don't care It don't matter what beef I got A nigga do a song with me right now Oh, Back in the day, I got mad beef. We don't want to do a song, true. We don't know who you are gonna smoke on. Now nah, it don't matter. <laughs> nah, I know. So, so around the time when I pulled up on you, that was around the time you was super, super mixy. You had mad beef. Did you like? And I kept it on the low for like you know safety reasons. That's I still gotta <laughs> run my business. That's so, did fact. you feel a way that I kept it on the low, or was you on some? Nah, it just that's how the shit had to be. Niggas had to feel me. It don't matter. I ain't care. For me, I was probably back in the day, I was probably like, nah, niggas is bugging. I just needed help. I needed help. I needed help. So, do you, so you do feel like I helped? Anything? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. So, explain how. How so? Let the people. Just know, like, because nobody them. gave me like a chance, like a connection, nothing. Mm-hmm. Everybody just knew EK is a rapper, but I wasn't connected to nobody. Yeah. I wasn't and seeing nobody. You had a nobody. lot of lit people in your hood. Yeah, nobody Texas. was bringing me nowhere to show me. Said Booba, he was bringing me somewhere, but not like to he where the place I needed often. to be. He couldn't. Yeah. Like, because certain niggas was there, other niggas, niggas was not taking me nowhere. Okay. All right. So, and then, and then, of course, when all the labels started backing off, how was that feeling like? Did you feel like you had to chill on this end, or did you feel like. I felt like, like, nah, was? niggas is. I just felt like now nah, I'm gonna keep rapping. I know I got it. I ain't want to stop this and I wasn't gonna stop this and. <laughs> well, just you did stop this for a little while, kind of. Not really. Not a like. little bit. I probably <laughs> did. Probably. I was trying to get you to stop this and you was not on that. Stop. All right. So, and when you had did your interview with Vice, they had caught you. I guess you saw one of your ops or some shit. That's a fact. Was at that point you like nah? I gotta stop. I guess chasing ops or like what well, I don't know like nah. that was a big moment. At first, I went in the whole documentary. At first, I'm like, nah, I ain't wanted to go out, but they just did it. They ain't let me see it or nothing. They just put it out, so I was tight. But then I'm like, fuck it. The bros like, nigga, that shit violent. I right, fuck it. I mean, cause the and it was other parts they put. Uh, Thank you, Vice. I love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> there was bad parts they put. put. It was other parts they put. So then and then um. But right, that shit help everybody, even the nigga we chase. Yeah. That shit got his shit going up. Free yeah. him. Word. Gangster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. So, um, so moving along, I guess, what advice would you give someone that's like trying to come up in this music right now? Keep your head up and keep working. This shit could happen. It really could. Okay. If you want it to happen. They go just get given to you, though. So you gotta work for it. That's a fact. Yeah. Face it or what? Drop it nine two. Nine two. Tune in. This shit gonna be lit. First tape, Bronx drill. Niggas never heard no shit like this. Okay. Do you feel like you gotta put on for the Bronx right now? Yeah, hell yeah. Being that like so many people locked up. Man, niggas locked up. Ain't no bum ass Brooklyn niggas is trying to come back. Yo, you see, always nah, not all of them. Not all of them. Okay. Not all of them. I fuck with Brooklyn. But even so, I fuck with some of them. Some of them music. Even niggas I don't fuck with. Some of them can rap. But a lot of y'all niggas is dirt though. I ain't gonna lie, step y'all shit up, but a couple niggas. Yo, this nigga always diss in Brooklyn. Nah, cause Brooklyn don't show no love. But you know what's crazy part? My most streaming is in Brooklyn though. The most streaming is in Brooklyn? Yeah, my most streaming in the bedroom in a whole. So you gotta do a bedroom. feature with somebody from Brooklyn? Yeah, I do one. I, I will. I did, but niggas be. For me, I ain't gonna talk on that. Yeah. I do one. I what, do one. You gonna with, do a newer one? Yeah. Probably is only nigga. 
Probably Siggy Black, Humble G's. Wanna, oh, you did one with Humble. It was mad at y'all on that song, though. Yeah. Yeah. Siggy Black, Humble G's. Niggas like that. 268, y'all yeah, niggas like that. Yeah. So 26 be showing love, too? Yeah. Oh, you feel like it would have been different if, like, your ops was out right now? You feel like y'all all would have been going up right now? Or you feel like shit would have been a little different? Shit would have been nasty. It would have been nasty. Niggas would have been going up. It would have been... It would have been more harder. Yeah, it would have been harder for y'all to do shows and shit. And harder shows and just to get views. Because the niggas that's locked up was getting mad views. Mad views. Do you think only niggas was getting mad views? So I would have still been here like I was there before. I'm I mean, here. You definitely so stayed come down home, till you came up so type shit. That's a fact. So when they come home, just know I got competition in it. I'm weak. But even still, like Busy had just came home. He's saying like the Bronx algorithm is high right now. Like. Everybody that's rapping from the Bronx is getting numbers right now. You think that? Yeah, that shit crazy. Yeah. I don't know how to. Do you feel like you put out there like niggas diss niggas and they get lit? Because yeah. you be dissing people, but you was already like doing that. But I feel like now everybody's come out once to like diss everybody. Yeah, they can get sad off me dissing them. That shit is crazy. Congratulations. So you got to change that narrative. Like, what are you going to do next? Are, are you done talking about your ops? Or? That's a fact. And if I do it, it's just like, you know, you know. You ain't going to know. I ain't going to just say your name. All right, so you're not saying names no more. But you said someone's name when you went to the radio station. Yeah, and did I your did. Freestyle. I did. I, I was high. But that's how it go. I had to. That's, that's how it go. But Fuck it. That's a hit. Go tune in. That's a Not hit. Not too. Okay. Okay. But um, do you feel like people be copying your style? Hell yeah. That, this is all me out here. <laughs> it's all me out here. I started I started it. So everything is me. So do you feel like you got to always switch it up? Cause I'm always going to switch it up. When I switch it up, niggas not even going to fuck with me. It's going to be like the game is over. So just niggas better just start rapping and get their little deals now. Because... <laughs> Once I get to him, it's only cool and going to be on. Okay, okay, okay. So, I even seen that you did the um pranks and stuff with Booba and them. That's a fact. And, like, when you, <laughs> when you say your shirt was wrinkly, that shit is all over TikTok. I was hot that day. Though. You know I was. I know. And I'm like, so, like, do you feel like you'll do more stuff with YouTubers? That's a fact. It's just, niggas it don't depends. know how it's. Certain niggas, you know how I really act in real. Niggas <laughs> think I just me all day, right? Yeah. Niggas don't know how I really act. That's why. That's regular shit. I just regular. Niggas think that. Niggas talking about some zesty shit, all types of shit. I'll Do you feel talking. like you got to show your fun side more often? That's a fact. So they can really know, like, that's me. But I, see, I know my other side. <laughs> Don't so, forget that side. But you do you do you still like back in the day you used to always say you feel like you make your best music when you mad. Do you That's still feel fact, like that yeah, way? Hell yeah. You still feel that way? Yeah. Even being signed and all? Yeah. Nah. Nah, no way. Yeah. So, like shit I like. So, shit other niggas so, like. So what inspires you now? Like what inspires you to keep going now? You can't That I know is just mad people like it's and now it's about to be competition, mad people getting signed. Mad people rapping, niggas coming home. You gotta go up. If you chill one time, a nigga will go crazy. You yeah. can't chill. You gotta just keep going. So you just so you still got that same mindset to keep going. Like yeah, going? it's mad niggas that's about to be lit right now. So do you like read comments and stuff? Yeah. Do you think you should, or you think that's a bad thing, or what? You just you should read them. You think you should? Yeah. But they be, I mean, yeah, yeah, you, people be having crazy fans. I feel like fans be starting, like, adding to the drama. What I know is a comment, bad or good, I know is a view, though. Okay. So that's how you look at it? I'm live. I'm lit. So you, you seem to, like, always stay positive, even when it was bad comments and shit. So how do you, like, brush that off, you feel like? My fuck the comments. I'm living a real life though. <laughs> My house is different. <laughs> okay. This is everything different. I don't gotta care about no fucking comments. Okay. Do you feel like um? So you're gonna chill out with being mixy and stuff, of course, because you got your kid on the way. Yeah, I'm just, it just, I can't chill with being mixy. Being mixy, just mixy. I'm just mixy. <laughs> just, 
Because I'll be peeping niggas move away, so I know what's going on. Okay, so do you like? Hmm, how can I say this? So you, so you're not bothered by I guess the shit that be going on. Like when you hear your name in, in your tracks, well in tracks now, does it still bother you or not as much as it used to? Or like, what's your thoughts? It bothered me when I can't drop the music. Okay. I'll be making once I hear you diss me, I'm ready. It's over. But you don't respond to everybody though. Nah, I don't. Cause certain niggas be dumb trash. <laughs> but you be feeling like you need to respond sometimes. Yeah, but to show the world, like I really know, I won't be responding. When niggas say I be responding to show the world, this niggas really pussy. Like half the niggas I'm beefing with, I really knew. Like okay, y'all yeah, was really around me. Y'all was on singing time, and I was on. Yeah, you you even have songs with some people that you're beefing with. That's now. why I really. But was you have a different audience now. You have different people watching you now. Yeah, that's, that's why fact. people don't want you dissing certain people. That's a fact. So, how is it like listening to labels now and trying to get out your, I guess, old habits of doing shit you want to do? It's weird, but I just, <laughs> I just go with the flow. Okay, but you are happy that you are signed. You are happy with your situation. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. All right. So tell the people what to expect on your project. That flock. Respect dissing Expect that <laughs> just, know, just know that wow. Expect dissing Expect greatness Expect my whole story My whole life story Alright So tell the people Where to find you And to find your new music RG Apple Music Spotify Everywhere Every platform Okay Shy K everywhere Shy K everywhere 